Hi there, Wednesday night, Salt Lake City, and I hope you like this video I've put together. Bit of variety in there, uh, some straight pipes on uh, an old peat and a freight shaker, some nice footage of coming over Mont Eagle in Tennessee, and um, in Salt Lake here, about to turn in for the night, and I just sent these clips out to my son to edit. But this is the glamour of trucking. And there's no taking your shoes off and sitting at the fire with your dinner that your wife's made and just having a bath. Nope, sitting here in the truck, trying to decide whether to leave the engine run, but probably won't. And just going to eat a couple of boiled eggs for my tea. Damn put side. But it's the glory, eh? The glamour. <laughs> Enjoy the video. If you like it, subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Alright, I am at uh, Jasper, Tennessee, uh, one of my favourite truck stops here, um, it's Monday morning the 30th of, Monday afternoon the 30th of March, social distancing still a big thing, coronavirus still a big thing, but we're trying to be positive and uh, dwell in positive things, that's the plan, uh, I got unloaded this morning down in Hotlanta, bounced up to Adairsville and got reloaded, Paul got unloaded in North Carolina, another 80 miles and get reloaded. Wes got unloaded at 4 a.m. this morning in Salt Lake City with his Michelin remolds for trucks. And uh, he's getting reloaded with spuds right now. I'm going to spin around and let you see this cool Peterbilt climbing a hill with straight pipes. This is one of my favourite truck stops to come to. No, just because fuel's 234 a gallon. We get a discount off of that. But you're just in the hills in Tennessee here and it looks really cool. A lot of parking spaces. I need to get me some straights. Got to have them. Anywho, this is where we're at. Most of the truck stops filled up with vans and refrigerated trailers. And it's hauling the food. But, uh, yep, this is a quick update. Uh, yep, things are going really well. The old trucks run like a champion, and uh, might get here before the clouds bust. So I'll flick this back around again. Right then, so it's the start of what is the inevitable, yeah. Uh, we left the oil field to go haul over the road because it was a bit sketchy. And we're supposed to get our oil field money into bank on Friday. Guess what? Never came. Phoned up on Saturday. Where the freaking is my money? Well, Sandbox never paid us because we're giving them trailers back and they want to inspect the trailers before they pay us. Well, my trailer was inspected by you when I gave it to you, so why have you not paid me? So, well, we'll definitely be paying you Monday. Still not got it yet. Made a phone call this morning. Nah. The person you're calling is unavailable. And then I got a text message to say, I'll call you back. So... Are we going to get any money off them? Uh, who knows? We'll see. But uh, I'm just glad we're out of it. And it was only really one truck that was running at that time in the oil field. So um, it's going to be a few things, sketchy things like that going along where they take the final check and you don't get anything from them. But we'll see. Hopefully we get it. Um, 
appreciate everybody that's watching these videos um, and subscribing to them and liking them. It's uh, it's quite a unique time to be out here driving a truck. Uh, they're supposed to be saying everybody stay at home. They're not staying at home. The roads have got still tons and tons of cars in them. Uh, don't know where they're all going. You can run through uh, Georgia and you'll see plates from all over the country. You run through Tennessee, all over the country. All these plates from different places. So, folk are not staying at home. <clears throat> but um, I saw some reports in the paper today that things are supposed to be easing off a bit as far as transmission of the virus and whatnot. But who knows if that's true. Um, but there's a lot of a lot of good things coming out of it. People are spending a lot of time together and uh, I was talking to my wife there and they sound like they're having a good time hibernating in the house with uh, daughter and granddaughters and sound like they've got some sort of little frat house going on in there. A bunch of teenagers, you know, uh, walking away to get their shopping and where everybody's normally busy in their lives and doing their own thing. They're all kind of mingling with each other and getting involved and cooking together and doing things together but um, for me uh, my daughter says now we understand why you work in America because mum's driving is nuts <laughs> so they're having a good laugh though at it you know just being daft and get, making the most of the situation strange times weird situations but we will saddle up this big old yellow horse and climb over Mont Eagle with my fan that's not working. Uh, I need a, one of those little wrenches that you can put on to, with the end at a right angle to uh, an extension bar because I can't get a spanner in to take off the air feed that goes to the air fan and put in a new olive uh, to reseal it. I think that's what air's leaking out of there and it's all get enough air supply to kick it on so I need to get that and uh, get, make it so that I don't blow the engine up really so that's us set Tennessee just over the border they're only about that way down there about 80 and 90 miles from Atlanta and about 20 miles from Chattanooga where the choo choo train is another way we're heading up I-24 towards Nashville and up over the hills so that's it catch you later and i'll we'll put something else on okay thanks for watching some grub for Paul nice day so this here adapted $29.99 out of uh, 
Walmart. So, lifesaver. Maybe even literally. So, yep, good bit of grub in the belly. Saying I don't behave myself? Um, you need to behave yourself, you're on YouTube. <laughs> All we had to do was tell Paul there was steak in the grill and he was uh, managed to do 500 miles in 10 minutes. Yeah. Check out that. Asparagus, even. Spoils Thanks for the classy food there. Jordan Ramsey. Gordon Ramsey. Oh, Jordan Ramsey. I get it. Right, of course. <laughs> slow there. Slow. Alright, you've got five minutes to eat that and then I'm away. Ahead of you again. Never to be caught. You still have to call this shit away. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, it is Wednesday night, I'm in Salt Lake, I started on Monday in Atlanta, Monday afternoon, lunchtime afternoon, 1870 miles to Salt Lake on Wednesday night, parked up in the dock, waiting to unload first thing in the morning, and I have to take my hat off to Paul, uh, he got a three or four hour start on me, but he came from Edenton, North Carolina, and is unloading at 2 a.m. in Boise, Idaho. Now that's 2,500 miles in two and a half days. That's just, uh, just shows what you can do when you've got a fast truck and you don't get pulled into every way station, you just get to run and run, run, run. So, uh, and it's safe, um, you know, you're, you're sleeping when you're tired and you're driving when you're no and uh, uh, his is a bit far but mine's easy if I get a good sleep tonight I could run back quite simply but uh, it's starting to snow here in Salt Lake but um, really enjoying these uh, wide open logs and the trucks running great the trucks can run hard they're just good bits of kit so I'm pleased that we've got them opened up to 80 and then a little bit as well so um, yep, I'll finish this video off and hope it finds you well. Hope that you're uh, staying isolated and staying healthy and enjoying the time off work and making the most of it. So, uh, if you're not, if you're having, if you're sick, I hope you get better soon. Okay, thanks for watching the videos. Appreciate it a lot. See ya.